Today we're going to talk about one of the most important parts of your home, and that's the roof. It protects you and all of your belongings from the weather, but it also does a couple other things. And if you do it right, you can save a lot of money while you're building your home. Plus, you can really improve the design with just a few changes. Let's go ahead and get started. This house next door is a little further along, so we're going to use its roof line to describe a few different design elements that you might think about while you're building your house. And also, consider the weather in your area. If you live up north where there's a lot of ice and snow, you want to go pretty steep with that roof because you want the weather to go straight off of it. If you live in California, you might have a flat roof. That's okay when it doesn't rain much, but if you get rain, it holds on that flat roof. So wherever it's ice and snow, go steep. If there's no ice or snow, you can go flat if that's the look that you're after. Now, roof pitch is determined by a ratio. It's called like a 12-12 roof or a 10-12 roof or a 3-12 roof. That's the pitch. We'll use this as an example. If this was a roof, and let's say it was a 4-12 pitch, that means for every four feet we went up, if we went across 12 feet, we'd hit the roof line. Now, a 12-12 pitch would be much, much steeper. We go up 12 feet, over 12 feet, and there's our roof line. So the bigger the top number gets, like 12-12 as opposed to 10-12, the steeper it is. This roof line behind me, the gable on the front, that's very steep. That's a 12-12 pitch roof. Very nice as far as getting weather off. Not worried about the weather here. They're just using it as a design element. This piece along the side, that's not quite as steep. That's a 10-12 pitch. And again, it's just to determine the look of the house, or if you're in a weather area, you might need a steeper pitch. Over here on the other side of the house, they've done a couple interesting design things with the roof. Here you can see a turret that they've built, and it's actually round on the top. Now let me tell you, anytime you build with square lumber, it gets expensive when you build round, but on this house, it's really gonna look good once we're finished. Next to it, we have what's known as a dormer. A dormer is a part of the house that protrudes out onto the roof line and has a window. It allows a lot more light into the house, plus it also breaks up our roof line to add some design element to the roof itself. Once you go inside the house, you can see that there's a lot of bracing up there to hold your rafters in place. The reason for that is we're either gonna have a tile or concrete roof on this house. That tile and concrete is very heavy, so you really have to determine what you're gonna put on top of the roof before you build it and brace up accordingly. And as you can imagine, if you add more material, there's gonna be more expense. Now you can also see our decking right here from the inside. We looked at it from the street, but the decking looks a little different. That's because you can't see the wood from the inside. It's oriented strand board on the out, but it's actually a radiant barrier on the inside. This is Tech Shield. It's made by Louisiana Pacific, and what it is is a radiant barrier. Now your attic can heat up to 140, 150 degrees in the summertime. What this radiant barrier does is the sun comes in and it actually hits this radiant barrier shield and the heat goes away so you don't have heat gain coming into your attic. Instead of being 150 in the summertime, it might be 110. And that's going to make a huge difference on your utility bills every month. Here we have a little example they've set up for us. And we've got a light bulb putting off heat in there. And then we have two roof lines. This first roof line actually has a heat of almost 100 degrees coming through there. Over here, we're at approximately 70 degrees. So you can see it makes a big difference to have the radiant barrier in there. You might have seen the old style where they drag them and lay them on top of all your insulation, but the heat already gets into your attic and heats up your attic and it just reflects it from your insulation. With this system, being on the decking itself, the heat won't even come into the attic envelope. So we're gonna have a cooler home. That means we're gonna have lower air conditioning bills. But one last thing. Don't forget your rafter clips. These are only about $50 per house with labor. You put them from your top plate of your wall onto the rafter of your house. It keeps your roof on in a tornado or a hurricane. Very inexpensive, but very effective. Well, just to recap, when you're considering a roof, it's all about angles and pitches. And the steeper you go, the less the weather's gonna affect it, but the more it's gonna cost to build. Get your architect to play around with the design of your home because just changing that roof a little bit will really change the look.